Hey, Brian from Garage Bull Hall. I have this cool atomic clock that you put into your shower because, uh, I mean, most of my watches are waterproof, but a lot of times I like, I just like to look at a clock or something. And obviously most clocks are unable to be able to put onto, or into a shower rather. So I picked this, this up and since it syncs with the atomic radio controlled atomic clocks in the world, um, I figured that was a, a great thing just to make sure that I have the most accurate time. So, like, if I'm in a shower for, like, you know, 10, 20 minutes or something, I don't lose track of time. I have the ability to look right onto my shower wall and be able to see, you know, what time, what time it is. So, it looks like it has a little battery compartment here, and it does have some instructions on how to set it up. And uh, how to set your time, your normal display, etc. Um, so I just can even mount that on a mirror. Uh, very clean tiles, um, or even like if you have like some of those like uh, like one piece shower compartments that are like kind of like plastic or something like that. You'll be able to like mount that on there pretty easy. I think this screwdriver might be too big to get in here. Yeah, let me see if I have a smaller Phillips head on here, which I do. So it is a little bit of a smaller screw head, Phillips screw head on there, so just be prepared for that. And it's got three screws. I'll just take that apart. And those come off. Now it's gonna have a overing seal on the inside, so just keep that in mind. So when you're closing this up, make sure that that seal is seated properly. And it takes one double A battery, which I believe I have here. Yeah. I like using the Amazon alkaline batteries. They seem like they work the best. So that's gonna give you kind of like a, a tone that's starting. So let's lock this back up. Screw everything down nice and snug. Okay. Again, this screw is going into plastic, so you don't have to make it like super tight, but make sure that they're snug enough that it's going to keep it nice and water, water compartment safe. Now, I actually have one of these clocks already in one of my other bathrooms. Loved this so much, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to get these for each one of my bathrooms. There's a little protective coating on it. So, it already looks like it's trying to sync up for the time. Now, that is not the time locally. Locally, my time is, I guess it's 12.55, roughly. So, okay, so on a, let's start from the beginning. Select your time zone. So... One normal mode, press mode button to enter the alarm time mode, set mode. So on the back you have you have your mode button. So that'll switch into your different modes. Then you have your set button on the back. And then that's how we can set it to military time or standard time. Then your adjust button. That'll scroll through your di different settings. Then you hit receive on the back and that will actually sync up with the atomic clock. But let's get into how to initially set your time zone and your time up just so we get it off and going. Uh, press the set button again to, to the setting item sequence. So on the back, manually setting the time and date. If the clock does not receive signal successfully, you can set the clock up manually. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to press the set button for three seconds until the hour starts flashing. Okay, and then that's your, so that's your, uh, starts blinking, so you, then you can hit adjust on the back, and we can adjust it to our time locally. It is 12.57 now. Oh, I'm going to pass it. Okay, and then we're going to hit uh, set, and I'll have us blink over to the other side, we'll hit adjust. We'll hold that down to kind of like speed through the setting really quick. I'm trying to get just so we don't have too much glare, so I guess I'll probably just like rock it back and forth. We'll hit set again, and that's going to blink for seconds. Set again, month. So we're going to set that to today's date. It. Okay, so we got set for today's date, then a year. Let's hold that down, scroll up the years. Okay. And that's going to ask for what language. And we're actually going to scroll through because I think I put the wrong date here. So we're just going to adjust that. Okay, set. So we're good to go. So that is good. Now we're going to pick our time zone. So when the, the clock automatically adjusts per the atomic clock, it's going to know exactly what time zone we are in. So that is selecting time zone for US version only. In normal time mode, press mode button to enter the alarm mode, and then set button to change the time zone. So that is mode button again. And then we're gonna hit the set button. And then that is gonna go, and that's gonna scroll through your little map that's on top here. And we're gonna select the east coast because that's where we are, that's our time zone. And then we're gonna hit uh, mode button. And then that is going to set our local time for us, per the atomic clock, and then uh, then you're good to go. So uh, we're going to go inside and stick this on our shower wall, show you how that looks and how it operates. But uh, I love these things, highly recommended, and stay tuned. All right, so in my shower, usually what I do is like on my other bathroom, I have a soap dispenser in the corner like this, and I put the clock up in the corner. But you can mount it to a wall. Just make sure you have a little bit of water and moisture on it. And see the orientation of that tab in the back. So what you want to do is you want to basically loosen up that about one turn back. And then what I do is I put it there. Get the orientation of that little tab on the wall. And then you're basically just turning it. And that is going to make the suction cup basically stay there for you. And, uh, yeah, you're good to go. Anyway, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching, and uh, be safe out there.